Hello debutantes! Well it is that time again. Time to take all of the Christmas stuff down. Um, I have really been putting it off this year. Usually like the day after Christmas I'm ready to yank everything down and put it away. But this year I really wanted to be a little bit more intentional of how I pack things away and kind of go through a few more things. I did go through some things as I was setting it out but I really want to store it properly this year. I noticed I was setting up trees. Some things I didn't really put away correctly because I was just in a rush. And I also want to film how I store things, how I put things away because I did get a request for that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I've gotten started and then what my next steps are. So the first thing I do when I'm getting ready to take my Christmas stuff and store it is I walk around the house and I get all of the decor items that are not Christmas tree decorations and I try to corral them all in one area. Um, this year it is my dining room table because we did not take the leaves out right away so there's plenty of room. So I try to kind of put like things with like as I am putting them away, but of course you sometimes run out of space. But anything that had ornaments in them that needed to be put away, those are together. Um, the nativity set that needs to be put together is together. Statuary I try to put together. The decorative boxes are together. You get the point. So this is the first thing that I do is I gather up everything in one spot. Then I have some of my soft lines over here, the pillows, the stockings, um, of course things that I have purchased for next year. Um, one of the things that I do try to do every year is I try to save the packaging and put as many things back in their original packaging as possible because I figure if it was shipped that way and it didn't break, it will store nicely in my attic. So the next thing I'm going to do um, is I take all of the ornaments off of the trees and I set them on the couch. Um, I will do one at a time and I put all of the same ornaments together because as you can see I have quite a few duplicates so I put all of those together. Um, these two trees are pretty much exactly alike and then I will show you how that looks when I get them all off and but right now I'm going to try to tackle the decor items. Of course, one of the very first things I have to do before I put my Christmas decor away is I have to write in our Christmas book. So I just sat down and printed a picture and wrote down everything that, well not everything, but all the highlights of this year and how we celebrated our Christmas. Um, Maureen really enjoys looking at this every year, so I have to make sure I fill it out before I put it away. So to save some space in my plastic bins, I'm actually taking these decorative boxes that I purchased after Christmas this year and I'm going to store um, the smaller items inside the box and then put that in a plastic tub. Uh, our attic gets extremely hot obviously in Florida so I don't want to leave too many things just loose in the attic so this is one of the things that I am doing to save some space. One thing that happened to me this year is I was, as I was going through my Christmas stuff to set things out, I would come across things and I knew that they had a use but I couldn't remember what they were and of course I didn't remember what they were until I had put all the boxes back in the attic. So this year I remembered that this ribbon is to wrap the two pictures in my living room. I usually wrap those with um, Christmas paper and these are the bows that were to go on them. Of course I didn't realize that until I put this away so I want to make sure I label anything so I will know for next year. You always think, oh, I'll remember, but it's 365 days away and you will not remember, especially when you're 45. This year, as I was wrapping up presents, I did save a lot of the plastic bags that things came in and some of the paper so that when I am putting away some of the more fragile items, I can wrap them in the bags and not use newspaper, which will sometimes rub off, or expensive tissue papers. So I'm getting ready to wrap up some of the fragile items and see how many I can fit in this box. Also, I have to be very careful since things are going in the attic that I do not make the boxes too heavy. I just, you know, I put things in, they fit like a puzzle, and then all of a sudden you can't lift it. So that's something you need to be aware of when you're packing up your boxes that you do not make them too heavy if they have to go up in your attic. So I've started to take down the two trees behind the love seat, and as you can see, I've started taking all the ornaments off and I put like things with like. I just have some boxes. Normally I would put these on the couch, but I had these boxes handy and my couch is still full of stuff. So these are kind of all the softer ones and then my harder ones. And what I learned putting up my tree this year is I really need to put the ornaments away in the bucket in reverse order. So I need to put all the small ornaments on the bottom, then the medium, and then the large 
the lights, the garland, because I want to be able to take the items out of the box in the way that I decorate. So I do the lights first, then I do the garland, then I use like all of the large size ornaments. Then I go to the medium size and then of course the smaller size. So that's how I want to put them in the boxes. So that is what I'm going to do. These are the types of boxes that I use to store the ornaments, the pretty much the loose ornaments, not the boxed ornaments. I try to keep a lot of my ornaments in the original boxes, like I said, but this is an ornament box and it comes with these cardboard dividers and there I think are three levels and they keep the ornaments nice and separate and you know you can bend these if you have a bigger ornament or something like that so they are adjustable I have extra cardboards over there the tissue paper is kind of to fill in the gaps um, this one are leftover ornaments so I'm going to take everything out of here and resort everything um, I also have this one that is empty so I think I'm going to use like one whole box just for the two trees behind the love seat and then all the extra ornaments that I put in um, lanterns and things like that I'm going to put those in a different box as you can see I have quite a mess I'm really kind of going slow today I kind of have a headache and I'm it's just not that big of a deal I'm not having a New Year's Eve party or anything like that actually my husband is working New Year's Eve and New Year's Day so these are all packed up and ready to go. I'm going to turn the light on and see if we can get some better lighting. Like I said, I've been taking it easy and not working like crazy um, because there's just really no point. So I have my decor in these smaller boxes. I have Christmas stockings and things like that. I used a lot of my stockings and dish towels as padding so things don't get broken. Um, so I did label the boxes of what was in them and then those two boxes are actually the tree from the family room the 70s tree with the colored lights and i have marked that everything that goes on those two trees i mean on that one tree are in these two boxes all the pillows are double bagged i put them in the bag they came in tied them in a knot and then put them in another bag the knot is down in the bag so there's really no opening there i put some christmas trees the wicker ones that were on my dining room shelf, double bag those as well. And then I have wreaths, all the wreaths that I have in this particular wreath box. So we're got pretty good start. My husband did not take the Christmas tree boxes out, so the trees will kind of stay up till tomorrow. These bags are what we store the large tree in, and I have not even begun on that tree. So this tree, I'll probably take it apart tonight. I don't know if I'll get everything stored but I wanted to get the video up and completed filming before it got too dark because there's no lighting. So this is pretty much how I store my Christmas stuff. I do like that the ornament boxes are all the exact same size. They stack nice in my attic. So I just have to dismantle the trees themselves, take the tree toppers down. Like I said, everything for those trees will go in either one or two boxes and it will be labeled. I still just have a few little piddly things to clean up. The one thing I am being very conscious about doing is some of the new items that I purchased that I know I'm going to want to blog about next Christmas, I am leaving out to put in my craft room so that I will have access to them and I won't have to climb up in the attic because I really hope to do more with the blog this year and be more planned just really do something wonderful with the blog so I still have to sort these ornaments but like I said they're going to be stored just like the other ornaments in the ornament box so I kind of feel like I'm rambling so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here and I hope you enjoyed seeing first of all my huge ginormous mess but how I try to store and organize my Christmas and again like I said I still have this tree so if you liked this video, thumbs it up. Please subscribe if you have not. And let me know if you've put your Christmas stuff up now or are you waiting till after the first of the year. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.